All right, do you wanna hear something crazy? My Mac Studio here, it's been making me tired. That sounds weird, right? Let me explain what I've discovered. See, I get this couch right here in my office and sometimes I take a quick nap there, especially when I feel sluggish in the afternoon. Now, at first I thought, you know, I'm just getting older or maybe I didn't get enough sleep last night. But recently something happened that made me start to wonder if something else was going on. By the way, if you're curious about this setup here, I've actually built my office in the garage during COVID to get myself some extra space. I've connected it to the HVAC of the house. Everything's been insulated and soundproofed. It's been working really great. I have made a full tour video, so if you wanna learn more, I'll link it up here somewhere and you can check that out later. So, a while back, I set up this small air quality monitor in my office. It's called the Air Gradient One. It's a neat little device, checks things like CO2 levels, dust particles, temperature, and humidity. It's simple, but it does a lot. And for the most part, it just sits there kind of quietly, and I didn't really expect too much out of it. The real surprise came when I started to notice the green light indicators would turn yellow or even red. I realized pretty quickly that it's when I turn on my Mac Studio in the morning, the CO2 levels in my office would start to rise. I'm talking within minutes. I'd start working, and suddenly the air gradient one would show the CO2 levels were shooting up. It was like my computer, it was filling this little room with stale air. So, CO2, it's measured in parts per million. Anything under 800 parts per million, that's considered excellent. And that's usually where my office would start in the morning. It was about 760 ppm. But that was with the Mac Studio turned off. As soon as I turn it on, the levels quickly start to rise and they get as high as 1200 parts per million. That's considered not ideal. That range is between 1,001 and 1,500. When levels get this high, they say you can start affecting how you feel. It can make you tired, sluggish, and even less focused. Now, one of the things I love about this device is it's got an OLED screen. It gives you instant feedback on what's happening around you in the air. So as soon as I turn that Mac Studio on, the screen shows me the actual CO2 levels going up in real time. The screen also displays other important information like the level of dust, the dangerous particles that are in the air, temperature and humidity. So you always know what's going on in your space. And here's the cool part. When I just simply turned on a fan to let some fresh air in, the air gradient one updates almost immediately. I can see that the CO2 levels, they start to drop. It shows them right there on the screen. Super satisfying to see that instant feedback and know that what I'm doing is actually making a difference to the air quality. So it was clear I needed to make a change. I wasn't gonna wait until every day when I felt like that nap. So the first thing I did was connect the Air Gradient 1 to my Home Assistant setup. This cool thing is it's super easy to do with a built-in integration. Within minutes, I had it reporting data directly into Home Assistant. And from there, I created some custom dashboard cards so that I could track the air quality levels in my office. These dashboard cards, they're awesome. They let me see exactly what's been going on in real time. When the CO2 levels start climbing, I also set it up so that I get alert right away. It's great because I didn't have to keep checking all of the time. The system lets me know when something's up. And if I want even more detailed graphs along with some helpful information on how to interpret that data, the Air Gradient actually has its own built-in web page that graphs everything and it explains the readings. So next step, of course, was to set up some automations. So now when the CO2 levels get too high, my smart home, it just automatically turns on the fan, brings in some fresh air. It's really helped keep the air in my office clean, and I've noticed that I don't feel as tired anymore in the afternoons. All right, now let's talk about the air quality readings because they change from time to time as well. So this device, it measures in PM1, PM2.5, PM10, TVOX, and NOX. And like I said, the dashboard explains all of these more, but basically PM means particulate matter. And the number relates to the size of these tiny particles in the air. PM 2.5 means 2.5 micrometers or smaller. So they're really small. These particles are so small they can get into your lungs and even into your bloodstream, which can cause all sorts of health issues. The Air Gradient One measures PM 2.5 using a laser sensor. And having that information, it helps me keep an eye on my air quality, especially if I'm doing something that might stir up dust. Although we don't park cars in this garage, it's still a garage and it can tend to get dusty. And like I said, compared to many other sensors, the Air Gradient One, it reacts fast and with numbers you can read. If I unbox a product here in my office, the PM levels are gonna rise instantly. And as I mentioned, as soon as I turn on my Mac, the CO2 start to climb. The Air Gradient, it catches all of that almost immediately. It's pretty amazing how it picks up the changes to air quality and lets you know what's going on. Now, 
The accuracy of this device, it's thanks to high quality sensors it uses. Now, this is all science stuff, but if you're interested, for CO2, it's got a Sensair S8 sensor. It's supposed to be really reliable and it calibrates itself once a week. It also measures tiny dust particles with a laser sensor from Plan Tower. And it checks for harmful chemicals, NOx, with a sensor from Sensiron. Setting it up was straightforward. The Air Gradient 1 connects to Wi-Fi and it's an open source device. So you have a lot of flexibility with how you can use it. You can even choose to buy a kit and build this thing yourself if you really want to see how the inner workings are all set up. I loved how easy it was to integrate with Home Assistant. It just worked. And the best part, it's not tied to any one home automation system, so you can use it with others, say, Homey, if you like. Also, you can customize the device any way you like. They have other options, and you're gonna need to check those out on the website. Having the built-in dashboards, they're great too. It gives you a clear picture of what's happening over time, so you can spot trends and make adjustments to your space as needed. The device itself, it looks like a small Wi-Fi antenna. And you can set this up on a wall, or you can just keep it on your desk like I do. It's built to last, and it works perfectly in any space where you want to keep an eye on the air quality. I've already been looking at air purifiers to help keep my dust levels down, and I've ordered another one of these sensors to put in the house. Final thoughts to wrap up my story. Here's what I've learned. Sometimes it's the little things that can really make a big difference. By keeping track of the air quality here in my office, I've been able to make my workspace healthier and more comfortable. The Air Gradient 1 has been a big help, and it's something that, to be honest, I didn't even know I needed till I saw those readings and I've seen the difference that it made. Sometimes I still take those naps, but at least now I know I'm doing it in a healthy environment. If you're interested in these, I put all the details in the description below. Thank you for sticking around and watching this video. If you've had any similar experiences or you have any tips on improving air quality, drop us a comment down below. I'd love to hear from you. And listen, if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and that way I will see you in the next one.